Hey guys, Cheryl Fuller, Spiritual Wealth. Deep breaths. One more. One more. All right. Doesn't that feel good? When you do deep breaths like that, you want to think about like your cobwebs and all that yucky air that you're talking about. Picture that everything that we no longer that no longer serves us anymore as well so when you breathe in you're just like picture like a duster kind of like getting every getting all the dust out and then when you blow it you're like Pff. it feels good all right guys i am so super excited i'm back and i'm super pumped up i'm better than ever right now i've uh, ran my two miles uh, last week two times super pumped up and excited about that it was uh a little bit difficult but it wasn't as hard as when I first started back when I had taken off years and years I've taken off about two years of my my uh, getting in there I've ran a, like a mile but as far as running two miles um, I persevered through that and it felt really good to do that <clears throat> but I just want to talk about so much that I've been going through this last month I know I haven't really done uh, much videos I did a throwback Thursday and then I just did a little update and and so excited to dive in for this week and just talk about just kind of everything that I've learned. Um, I feel like I'm kind of like a blue, a blue, a blue, a bloopers, but <laughs> no, this is a blueprint is what I was uh, going for. A blue, a bloopers maybe later, but a blueprint of for 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 all you folks out there, um, for people that are uh, struggling with uh, the laws of attraction, what they say that. You know we are creating our own uh, our own world you know basically whatever is inside of our mind and inside of anything going on in here is going to reflect out there I'm truly one that can uh, clarify that for you folks because um, I haven't been in the the work environment I've pretty much been in a home environment with family and I have noticed that whatever is uh, going on inside here that I need to work on inside of me um, will reflect out as 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 in them and so therefore you know that it's 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 you and I know that's not what you wanted to probably hear but that is the truth so um, the best thing that you can do is take this advice and run with it so when you find yourself getting triggered or you find yourself uh, going through um, what you would call maybe somebody treating you wrongly or treating you bad what you need to do is stop right there Go take some deep breaths and think about, okay, what have I done to manifest this? What have I done? How have I gotten here? You know, and and then, um, you know, you'll be able to work your, your way past that. You know, and once again, like we've talked about before, if I, what do I need to be, uh, what what is this coming up? If, I, if it is coming up, I mean, Abraham Hicks says that every thought, everything that's happened, every thought, thing, whatever is all is vibrating out there all the time. And so we can easily get on that same vibration. So we have to like lower, lower is and not focusing on it. So, you know, whatever we pay our attention to grows and so on and so forth. So even if we grow, if we pay attention to the lack of anything, then guess what? The more lack of that is going to come about. So <clears throat> there's so many things that go, that goes into it. It's such a tricky, uh, a little thing life right but it's fun and we're having and we're enjoying the journey right most of us most of the time I know we are but um, yeah I'm super excited I um, I didn't even plan on running I actually was almost gonna give up on it I'm not gonna lie I was like pretty much like I'm gonna do yoga I'm gonna do something else and my actually my niece so shout out to you if she ever ends up watching uh, this video or, <clears throat> or whatnot um, I would just like to say thank you because you did uh, help uh, help help inspire me and so whenever you guys think that ah, I'm doing a little picture here of my gym and all that, you know, that those do help inspire people. Sometimes we're not in the mood to see those, but they do help inspire us along with whatever else we share with others, I believe. So um, to get right down to it, I just want to talk about some things that I've been reflecting on lately. Um, I know I mentioned a lot of things that I'm going to get into, but I just kind of wanted to get into this right here because I think it's very important <clears throat> what I've noticed um, I know I spoke in one of my videos, hopefully you guys have watched, have watched it, if not, hopefully you'll run, you'll run across it, but there was a video there where I reflected on my Christmas uh, this year to my Christmas last year, and um, I actually reflected on, reflected on again, it kind of came up, I guess, for another, for another little reflection for me, and so um, as I thought about it, um, I couldn't believe what <clears throat> kind of came up, 
I'll just do a rundown really quick. Last Christmas, um, I uh, had uh, like zero money, and this Christmas I had um, not a whole lot of money, but a whole lot more, and I was actually in a more kind of an abundant place, doing a more of a you know abundant activities with family and such, which I had actually wished for the Christmas before. So as I reflected on that, I also reflected on the fact. Because um, recently, I know I shared with you guys that I've kind of been going through a little bit of financial lacking period in, in my life. And so then what does that return make you do? Ah, you beat up on yourself. You're like, ah, you know, this shit doesn't work. Laws of attraction, blah, blah, blah. You kind of go through maybe a spiral period. But always take those periods as a learning process and build yourself back up and get back up and basically make yourself better than you were before. <clears throat> do the learning process. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. But as I reflected on that, because I was, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I've got to go rush out. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. You know, it just, just, this isn't working. Those old programs come back and haunt you. Those old, um, that's why there's a song and I love it so much. It says, I'm going to break out and lock it. I'm going to break out and hide every lock. I'm going to break out and hide every lock. And, and that just soaks in so well with me because it's the truth. When I think about it, I was working last Christmas that I was broke. I was freaking working. And so that popped into my head like a slap in the face. Like you were working when that Christmas happened. And so we had manifested more. So I know what I'm doing working is what, what we are doing is working. Also, um, the fact that we kind of came into a, a lacking a little bit. Um, we kept the faith the whole entire time. We've just kept the faith, kept the faith. We kept the faith the whole entire time. <clears throat> minus maybe a couple of minor instances, we still bounce back and we kept the faith. And just know that those moments are just moving you out of a situation that no longer serves you anymore, whether it's a job, a career, whatever the case may be. I can't stress that enough. I actually have watched uh, my brother-in-law go through the same thing. Whatever happened to get you out of that position is because you're you're reaching for something else and they're they're basically guiding you on that and sometimes uh, as humans we we cling to what we're used to so it's harder for us to break away even me even after I've broke away that's why that in, is so intense for me break out and hide every lock because the first thing that you want to do is you want to jump you want to well, <laughs> jump back to what you're used to and so um well that was very powerful <laughs> any questions and you have to hold strong and you have to hold the faith and you have to trust the process. And so that's uh, where I'm at, that's what I've been doing, and uh, so I'm super excited to share um, all the journeys, uh, all the journey that I have been on, and I just want you to uh, do the same. Stay true to you, stay powerful, don't jump back into those old behaviors and those old habits that we're so used to doing, and just let me fix this really quick, because I have more in store for this show. All right, cool. All right, we're back in business. That was pretty powerful though, right? All right, guys, so I'm still gonna do Cheryl Secrets today. I have no idea what's in there. There's, I just kind of put everything I write, just kind of whatever. And then I have one, it's an oldie but a goodie. And it's uh, not an oldie but a goodie, but as far as like the secret and the laws of attraction and all that jazz. So I wanna share my affirmation with you for today. Asking it is given. That's what they always say, right? Asking it is given. Believe it to receive it. What does it say? Asking it is given. Now believe it to receive it. You're worthy of it. Now allow. Now allow it. I think I have. Um, also, I've wrote another one. Ask it is given. Now let it risen. Lots of stuff like that. <clears throat> so, with that being said, they also say pretend it's like you ordered something and. You know, you don't ever like doubt or like you go into like a sub, you go to order a sandwich, you go to order food, you go to order like in a restaurant and you go to order a steak and you order, order this and order that. They're basically saying that the universe is the, basically the same thing. The, um, like when you order food from the restaurant, do you question whether or not they're going to bring it to you? No. Well, it's the same thing with the universe. When you ask, you don't question whether it's going to come or not. You just keep believing it. You keep believing it and then you eventually receiving it. Also, um, it's very important that we, um, like, uh, I have this big, huge amount that, I, that, I've, that I've wanted to manifest, and um, I've been super excited about it manifesting, but I've also come to the realization that it's kind of like a build-up period. We almost have to build up to that as far as um, maybe even what we can kind of uh, 
be the path of least resistance for us. So, um, you know, maybe winning the $230 million in a lottery right now in this moment in my life would not be the path of least resistance. However, um, other things are, and they're, they're helping me grow and learn even more. And that's what um, is helping me grow and prosper and learn that um, you don't want to get uh, strive too much and then get kind of like de, de kind of demotivated, I guess you would say, or kind of like lose your momentum. So the best thing to do, if you really want to start like just kind of testing the laws of attraction, if you're like, like a total non-believer and you're just like, this is total bullshit. I am not creating this shit. I am not creating this life. This is not what I've created. Then test it, test it a little bit. Um, you know, uh, do small things like, like little things. Um, and just barely like think of it. That's like the best way to manifest. The reason why um, it's so important though to do like stuff like these, the affirmations and the stuff is because we have so much running in our subconscious mind constantly. Stuff we don't even know about. Stuff that's going back there that's just, we don't even know what's going back there, but it's actually um, kind of creating our reality. So we kind of have to help reprogram that. And I know that that sounds crazy, but think about this. Have you ever woke up in the middle of the night with a song in your mind? Just sing it, just a song, any song. Uh, if, if it happens after this, this, this uh, video that you watch, um, you'll, you'll notice how important song and musics are. So, because that's, that's the same stuff kind of running in your mind. So I feel like in the last two to three years, I've just been kind of filling my mind with, with all the Abraham Hicks. Um, I'm doing more hypnosis at night for like, um, the billionaire hypnosis and money, money and kind of reprogramming myself for the lacking. But within that being said, because something happens different than what you think, kind of like with me, with my experience. So learn from my experience. Like, um, I can't really say what the change is because it, it's not, it's, it's not yet acquired. So, um, and so I can't let people know what's happened because, but it is happening. Um, and, uh, so we are actually going to be changing where we are uh, going to be more lucrative. So what I mean is like we were in a kind of like a, a got to a lagging point, but it made us change and switch up into now more of a lucrative point. So hopefully um, this is a take and it all works out and we're going to move on to Cheryl's secrets. All right. I have no idea. Okay, this is it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is perfect. Um, basically, the most powerful words for abundance of all. I have, I will, I can, I am. I can't, I'll try. Most powerful words for nothing. Okay? So basically what that means is when you catch yourself going and saying, I can't, I'll try, I'm trying. Um, those are basically no-no's. We don't want to say that, Okay? But what I've came down to realize is that our vibration kind of has to build up like I was uh, speaking about before, where you want to be like, if you believe I can, like believe I can, I can manifest whatever. And that's another thing I want to talk about to you. Like think about an amount that you can manifest. Think about an amount that you believe that you can manifest. Any, any kind of amount. If you believe that you can manifest $5,500, $50, just think of the amount that you think in your mind. So I would take some deep breaths and say, all right, how much do, do I believe that I can manifest? And the amount will pop up in your mind. 50,000 came to me. So um, anyways, I just wanted to share with you. That's kind of what came to me. It was like, oh, okay. I didn't realize that. You know, I believe I could manifest 230 million. But obviously my subconscious mind is saying, no, nah, we, we, we believe that. And so that's where you want to focus on. And then whenever you begin to, uh, sometimes you're like, I can, so, or you say, I have, and then what is your mind? It's, co it's contradicting it. So you want to go to the more comfortable words, not the ones on the bottom. You want to go with the ones that are on the top. So if you feel for more full, I can, I can, and then you'll move into, I will, I will, I am, and I have. And so um, those are some, just some cool things. Let me replace words. Uh, replace words of distraction with words of contraction, construct, whatever that means. I have no idea what, what I was going for there. Most powerful words for manifestation, good or bad. 
So that's it. The most powerful words for manifestations, good or bad, are these. And these are all running in our mind. Our thing is we want to get it to here. We want to get it to here. Believe it to receive it, right? All right. Um, I think that's I think that's a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for joining Cheryl Fuller Spiritual Wealth. Always stay true to you. Stay powerful and always stay true to you. Thanks so much for joining me, Cheryl Fuller Spiritual Wealth. Peace out.